Hello and welcome to another free code session. My name is Jason Bach and I'm going to start writing tests for the analyzer. I did work off camera to move stuff around, get things in descriptors and change some tests. So now everything passes again. I haven't run all the cogen tests yet because I'm a little unsure how that's going to work right now. The way I used to do it which is a day ago. But the way I used to do it is, I think, let's just go look at it. So we do test with types, go all the way down here. And there's something that, current when you generate mocks. Yeah. From the discover type count. Discover types is what? Uh, yes, so the get targets here, I believe, yeah, that just says a first guess. We really don't know. So what I'm going to have to do is something in here that returns both the issues because we could still have issues with an un unexpected error, but also the number of actual types that were generated. So I may have to dive into regex, which I know nothing about. I have never done, I've really never done anything with regular expressions. And by really have never done, I mean never done. So I can take a regex, I can say, use it in a .NET application, but I, I don't know the rules around them. Just something I don't know. But I think I'm going to do something like that to say, in the generated code, how many internal sealed class whatever, create expectation or make you know, whatever the two are and how many instances of those actually showed up. That's the real count. And so I'm going to have to do something like that. But because there's no longer going to be any diagnostics generated here, I'm not going to include the analyzer. I'm just going to say if I determine that a type can be created, I can make a model from it, that means I would have generated a type a, a mock stuff from it. So, so that's gonna have to change a little bit, but not too bad. But first things first, we actually need to test our analyzer, make sure that it actually works. So I was thinking about that this morning and I said, well, I probably will want to have like the tests for each, well, like have tests for each descriptor, but then have tests for each diagnostic and say, this case is handled this way. Or I might do them all here because the analyzer handles all of them in effect. So, and, and I already wrote notes because I had to change some tests because these tests were saying, hey, in this condition, I was getting rock diagnostics. So now I wanna move those into here as well, okay? But let's actually just get a couple to pass. So. Let's see here. I want to do something that's like this. So, even though this isn't what I really want to do, analyze where no when diagnostics are not created. <clears throat> so, in this case, we could just have this oh, configure await. I really, I don't know why I don't have that off for these libraries. So I do have it for here. I thought I had one that's like, stop yelling at me and <laughs> don't warn. And that's, I think it was CA 2007. Cause I'm like, really, I don't need to await that. Okay, so now that finally says, yes, you're right, that goes away. So in this case, nothing should happen. Okay, that took longer than I expected because I started running into issues with configure await, which I'm like, no, I don't wanna do that. So I put a no warrant in, but then something about the pasting in of that, it didn't like it. And so I started getting a lot of errors and then I was getting errors around that you should use static read onlys for arrays and I was like just shut up let me <laughs> just let me move on as much as I love code analysis there are, are occasions where I'm just like it's too much 
any event. This passed. Okay. So now we want something where analyze when mock is created. So in this case, what we want is using rocks. Now this is going to be interesting because it should know what rocks. Yeah, it should. Because when I do transpire, it's using the analyzer, which has the assembly over here. So it, it should work. So let's say we have interface my service handy dandy service void serve and then what we put here is at the assembly level we put a rock create i service and that should be fine there should be no issues with that actually what's interesting is if i look at when you do get an error what's is it like a double Oh yeah, it's this weird symbol here. It may be here, let me move that up and just zoom in a little bit so you can see that. It uses, oh, stop moving around, where did you go? Where'd you go? There, it looks like that. And that's basically a way to say here is the start and then the end is on the other side to say that's where an analyzer should have flagged it. So, okay. So in this case, this should also pass. And it didn't, it failed. The type or namespace rocks could not be found. Yeah, okay, well that sucks. How does this work? <laughs> Analyzer verifier is just something that's in the this assembly namespace thing. So is there a way I think what I need to do is similar to what I'm doing right now, which is to get it to understand the reference. Because it, I mean, it kind of makes sense in that this is just an assembly. It doesn't know. You're saying you want to run this analyzer on this code, but this code in and of itself, when it's compiled, doesn't have a reference to rocks, I'm guessing. And we do something. What do we do? This is our C sharp in incremental source verifier. I didn't have, that's right, I didn't have to do that with transpire because it looks at code that's there, it's using that analyzer, but it doesn't need a reference to the transpire assembly itself. Now I do, so that's something that I gotta now figure out how to do this <laughs> how do i get this to to work verifies the analyzer produced by this is a given source text yes again i think i'm going to have to do something similar so this is an analyzer verifier this is a source generator verifier i grabbed it from here and then in some of my tests I want that one. Let's close some stuff out here because I'm seeing too much. This is probably just an episode on how to get the analyzer to work, the test stuff, referencing what I built. So way down here, I say run, anal run async. It would be nice if I had something here that I'm like, See, this test assistance is assuming that this is for everything that's Roslyn related. If I rename this, then I could pr probably start playing around with, well, do I do something similar? Let's just try the internal static async foo async. I don't know. String code. And then what I want is something like let's close that we don't need that don't need that hi kitty <laughs> my cat is meowing var i better let him in hold on this is my tank can you say hi tank say hello that's one of my two cats he's very fluffy and he's very friendly very happy to have cats, right? Yeah. 
he doesn't care. <laughs> he's just looking. He's, I think, one of the friendliest cats I've ever had, right? Yeah, you want to go exploring. Okay. So that was my cat, one of them. The other one's uh, Sully. He, he's a nice cat. He's just the typical scaredy cat. He doesn't like to be picked up. He never gets mean. He just doesn't like it. And um, he gets a little skittish, especially if the doorbell rings. He like runs under the bed. But he is extremely friendly. He's a very nice cat too. Just doesn't have that um, personality that Tank does. And Tank is now in the bed over there. Okay, what am I doing? Stop talking about cats. Test is equal to new. Not that. Yes. So how does this, we just say verif, is that a static? It's gotta be a static. Yeah, and it's this is meant to be a very simple thing. And you, you can also see in the signature here, it's saying here are the diagnostic results we expect. You can just say, hey, I expect the diagnostic to be here. And if that's all you care about, that's fine. If you wanna say, I wanna know that it's actually this one, you can pass that in as well. But we do need to pass in a reference to rocks. And I believe test state additional references type of T assembly. So where the T is, yeah. So we automatically add in a reference to that. So we want to get this. We want to have something very similar. We want to say fully sync that where T is a diagnostic analyzer and new. And then we say here, new C sharp analyzer, T and unit verifier. And now test dot, there's really nothing in here. What is the test here? Hmm, there's nothing. <laughs> That's does not make any sense. What is the analyzer test here? Well, I think we're starting to dive into what I need. Test code, yeah, this is very similar. I wonder if I basically just need to, I don't like the name, I, I don't get what this is though. Like I, I still don't get my head around. Oh, okay. So that it that all right, sorry, that took me a second. That's a nested type. And that nested type is what we return that actually derives from that, which gives us a, a test. And then the test is what you run. So we would probably need something very similar to that. But I'm already seeing that this is far more work to do than I want to do on camera because I'm flying blind here right now. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is at least to get this to the point of getting an analyzer to run where it's not confused about rocks being there. And then once I got that in place, then I can start writing more to us. So I'll do that in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.